lady, unbeknownst to a lot of people, is that you know, crisis means opportunity. And uh, this crisis uh, for those who are true entrepreneurs, they see it already as an opportunity, an opportunity to be able to now take up that space where you can be able to truly uh, take value addition seriously as a country, as entrepreneurs, so that we're able to really make good money. Because a lot of Zambians, you know, they, they, they're going to farming, uh, really going and taking to the marketplace what we call primary products instead of taking them to the market secondary products. Because if you take it to the market uh, uh, primary products, you will always get a very low value, very low price. And that doesn't really even motivate a lot of people going farming because you find that you know when you invest so much and you reap the benefits are so little. So if you're talking from an entrepreneurial point of view, you only make money if you have got what is called economies of scale. So if you're a big producer, you can make money you know selling whole chickens. But if you're a small producer, you should really seriously consider uh, trying to add value, trying to you know uh, bring some processed foods. For instance, if you are selling chickens, uh, the chickens, if you are selling at 35 kwacha, if you just smoke it, and the smoking process is no brain, it's no rocket science, just by smoking it, you can move the price from 35 kwacha to 60, 70, 100 kwacha. The touch. Most people are easily keen on buying ready to eat food. One thing is because people are busy professionals. And so they are looking for easy ways of you know, preparing meals, easy ways of consuming some of these products which you produce. So if you are going to start any business, if you are going to start a chicken farm, you might as well first begin first to focus on being a trader, to trade for those who are already keeping chickens. So if you learn the art of selling the products, before you go into production. Mm -hmm. Same with processing. If you want to go into real processing, maybe initially you may have to start with uh, uh, renting equipment or going to factories. There are factories right now in Lusaka or in Zambia whereby, you know, when they're not producing, they easily allow outsiders to come and process there. So why not begin from there, where you are charged only for the time that you spend processing? You find at least to kickstart you so that you begin to raise the money that you need to begin to start your product. Lack of information between the people who have the equipment and the people who will require the equipment. But technically speaking, Zambia, what Zambia needs is more technology, more machinery. If we are able to import, bring in more of those equipment than importing processed foods. For, for me, you know, if I, if I was draconian enough, I would say, buy all these imports of all these processed foods. Bring in machinery so that you know import the technology that makes poloni, the technology that and the machinery that is used for making polonies, so that as citizens we're able to create jobs. Because basically by you know buying processed foods, you're actually shipping jobs out to South Africa. So the South Africans are the biggest beneficiaries. What we could easily benefit by because it's not rocket science. I mean processing, uh, making poloni and all these processed foods is not rocket science. If you have machinery and the technology, anybody can do it.